Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Uh, so, I'm trying to get this laptop that I'm using right now, uh, getting it up and running for a live event that I'm doing for you guys September 1st, 2013, which is this Sunday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, doing a live stream of uh, Microsoft Deployment 2K 2012, how to sit prep and capture using the MDT. So, I found out that I don't have a particular snap-in. Now, I want to remote desktop into my machine that I'm going to be using during the live stream. And I like to use MSC, which MSC is a application that Windows 7, Windows 8, a lot of the Windows applications have. Now, MMC stands for Microsoft Management Console. And from here, you're, you're able to manage a bunch of other things within your you know Windows infrastructure so if you want to file add remove snapping and as you can see you can actually add a lot of tools and features to this console so you can manage your machines on the floor better now it doesn't have remote management desktop and if you actually go into I'm gonna close this out I don't want to save it and you go to start and you go to control panel and you go to programs and features and you try to turn on Windows features on and off which is normally this is where you would go to turn off the remote desktop feature but it's not there what's up with that so you have to actually download the package at the Microsoft download center which I'm actually provide this link at the bottom of the description so you guys can get yourself a copy and you need to have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for this to work. From my understanding, it looks like you need to have at least Enterprise uh, Professionals 1. And uh, yeah, so you download the package like I did and you, let's install it. So I'm going to go show in folder and I'm going to double click on this, close this and minimize this. Again, remember I will place this link at the bottom of the description so you guys can go check that out. So I'm going to close that. And it's basically going to say, do you want to, you know, install this KB9588.3.0 update to your machine? I'm going to say, yeah. I don't know if you need to reboot your machine for this to work. So you get the nice little read this license terms. Yes, I accept. It's going to start initializing the installation. And hopefully once it's done, uh, I'll catch you guys when it's done. Okay, so once the installation or the update is completed, you guys want to go into your control panel and go to programs and features and go to the turn windows features on or off now regardless if you install this update into your machine it's not gonna turn it on so you guys gotta actually go in there and go into the remote server administration tools and check what you want to manage so I want to manage a bunch of stuff so I'm going to check off remote desktop services tools Hyper-V tools, uh, DNS, DACP, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave those because those are the ones that I like to use the most during my environment. And I'm going to press OK. And again, it's going to take some time for the features to install. And once we install the features that we want, we will go into our MSC and, and add those snap-ins. And we're back. So once the features are already installed, you're not going to get a dialog box saying that it's successfully installed. So the only way you can know that your features are installed is you could close and you can actually go to administrative tools and you will see that the snap-ins are there. Like Hyper-V Manager, uh, Remote Desktop Services is what I installed. But I like, to, I like to use one console to manage everything. So let's type in MSC which is uh, Microsoft Management Console. Hit yes for the user account control. I'm going to double click on this to expand it. Go to file, add remove snap-in. And let's add the snap-in that I want. And I want to do remote desktop. Let's add that. I'm going to be doing some Hyper-V pretty soon with you guys. So let's add that. And uh, I like to make sure my DNS is on make sure that's working properly and my DACP and we're gonna press OK and that's it guys so right now I don't have any remote desktop machines on my network so most likely you wanna add new connection type in the IP address connection name 
use a name if you need one and that's it you're golden uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video how to uh, customize your MSC with remote desktop settings as well as other snappings that you guys can play around with again I will provide that link so you can download the security pack to your machine and hopefully you guys enjoy and leave comments below and do not forget about slapping that like button before you guys go and I catch you guys later peace out